So, yet another mullet fell to the burly and to a nice bait. Dipped in some bait dip. Hi, it's Wayne from howtofish.com.au. Fishing, doing a little bit of beach fishing this morning here at Point Leo. Beautiful beach setting. There's hardly any breeze at all. Bit of sun and the tide is going out. So <laughs> maybe not the absolute best conditions for fishing, but it still promises to be pretty good. Now, just what I'll be using today, I'll be using my white hard burley. I'll also be, so that's in an open burley cage. I'll also be using a closed end burley cage uh, with some pellets in it. I'm using fish pieces, chicken. I'm also using my spicy chicken bait dip to dip that in before I cast. So what I'm doing here is with the closed end burley cage, because it's a bit of movement in the water, not much, but a little bit of movement, I've put some extra weight in here. So into this closed end burley cage, I've got a, a little sinker that adds more weight. And then into this, I'm just putting my micro pellets. So just a few in like that. So these little micro pellets here, uh, absolute dynamite. They've got fish scents and basically broken down fish particles in them. High protein, very, 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 very effective, and also something that really attracts the uh, the fish quite quickly. So I put this in, put the top on. That is running. So I've got that as a running sinker, if you like. I've got a fair bit of distance, probably about 60 centimeters down to a size six hook. On that, I'm gonna have fish pieces. And that's what I'll be doing. And these things, because of their shape, they cast like a bullet. So the process is simple. A little bit of chicken for a nice sharp hook. A little bit of chicken on there. Okay, a little bit of bait dip. Then my burly into my burly cage. Pack it in reasonably tightly so that it actually stays in there. Um, and not mu I don't want much to come out in the water stream. I actually want it to stay on the bottom because I've been casting a few times so the fish are in the area. Yet another mullet fell to the burly and to a nice bait. Dipped in some bait dip. That's all it takes. So that's just been cast in. Look at this, so straight off, we're getting bites. So <laughs> got the fish in the area most definitely, but it's not taking long. These will be mullet, I'm pretty sure, or small salmon. You can tell by the, yeah, okay. So let's just see how we go. Now this bait has been mauled a little bit by the, the fish, but what I've found is if you refresh it with a, a bit of the spicy chicken bait dip, okay, it seems to bring a lot more attraction and therefore the fish are willing to take it where 
under normal circumstances if that wasn't treated they might just leave it alone okay so let's just extricate ourselves whoa okay here we go so here we go i've got my burly cage there full of burly and i've got my little tiny piece of bait here because i know that there's a lot more small fish the bigger rod with the bigger bait on it really hasn't had much activity so it's all about small fish today slightly bigger than the other ones there we go still not big enough for me As soon as it hits the bottom, I'm feeling I'm feeling bites immediately. That's better. Okay, I am getting better too. Getting slightly bigger. You can make a meal out of these fish, that's for sure. Yep, straight off. Tap, 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 tap. <clears throat> so. Okay, yeah. So th this, it doesn't look a lot bigger, but it's got more weight on it. So the fish are improving in size with the bigger baits. And that's what I wanted. Bigger bait, bigger fish. Not bad at all. Beautiful colors, look at those beautiful yellow eyes. That's where they get the name, yellow eye mallet. Well, I've had my two hours here. I've caught some fish, I've had some fun. Beautiful day, but now I've got to head home. If you've enjoyed the video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe. And for any of the tackle attractants, and some of the techniques that I'm using, go to my website, howtofish.com.au. See you next time.